Welcome back to our channel. We hope you'll find valuable content here. If you enjoy our channel, please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Let's dive in. Training Your Consulting Brain, A Simple Guide Imagine you're training for a marathon. You wouldn't just wake up one day and run 26.2 miles, right? Similarly, to become a top-notch consultant, you need to train your brain, just like a runner trains their body. Here's a beginner's guide to get you started. 1. Understanding Business Basics What it means Before you can advise businesses, you need to understand how they work. This is like knowing the rules of a game before playing it. Key Areas to Focus on Finance, think of this as the bloodline of a business. It's about how money comes in and goes out. For example, if a local bakery sells cakes, how much does it cost to make one cake, and for how much do they sell it? The difference is their profit. Marketing, this is how businesses tell people about their products or services. Like when you see an ad on TV for a new phone or hear about a sale at your favorite store, that's marketing in action. Operations, this is the behind-the-scenes work. For our bakery, it's about how many cakes they can bake in a day, how they store ingredients, or how they deliver cakes to customers. How to Learn Coursework, there are many online courses, some even free, that teach these basics. Websites like Coursera or Khan Academy are good places to start. Internships, think of this as a test drive. You get to work in a real business environment to see how things are done. It's like learning to bake by actually working in our bakery example. On the job training, this is learning by doing. Once you start a job, there's always more to learn. Maybe it's a new software tool or a new method of analyzing data. 2. Developing strong analytical skills What it means Being analytical is like being a detective. It's about looking at information, finding patterns, and making sense of it all. Key areas to focus on Data collection, this is about gathering information. Imagine you're trying to figure out why a certain product isn't selling well. You'd start by collecting data on sales, customer reviews, and maybe even competitor products. Identifying trends, once you have the data, you need to see if there are any patterns. Maybe the product isn't selling well in a particular region or during a certain time of the year. Making informed decisions, based on what you find, you can make decisions. If the product isn't selling well in winter, maybe it's more suited for summer. So, you adjust your marketing strategy accordingly. How to Learn Statistics courses, these teach you how to handle and interpret data. It's like learning the tools of the detective trade. Data analysis courses, here, you'll learn how to use software tools that help you sift through large amounts of data quickly. 3. Becoming a good communicator. What it means. Communication is the bridge between ideas and action. It's about sharing your thoughts clearly so that everyone is on the same page. Key areas to focus on. Writing reports, this is like telling a story with data. If you found out why a product isn't selling well, you need to write it down in a way that everyone can understand. Giving presentations, sometimes, it's not enough to just write things down. You might need to present your findings to a team or a client. This is where you visually and verbally share your insights. Building relationships, communication isn't just about talking. It's also about listening and understanding others. By building strong relationships, you ensure that there's trust and understanding in your interactions. How to Learn Public speaking courses, these can help you become more confident in presenting your ideas to a group. Writing workshops, here, you can hone your skills in crafting clear and concise reports. Networking events, these are opportunities to practice your interpersonal skills and build relationships in the industry. 4. Critical Thinking and Problem Solving What it means 
Imagine you're a doctor. A patient comes to you with a set of symptoms. Instead of just treating the symptoms, you try to find the root cause of the illness. Similarly, in consulting, you look beyond the obvious issues to find the deeper problems. Key areas to focus on. Identifying root causes, this is about asking why multiple times until you get to the core of a problem. For instance, if a company's sales are down, is it because of a poor product, bad marketing, or maybe external factors like a recession? Developing creative solutions, once you know the problem, you brainstorm ways to fix it. This might involve coming up with new marketing strategies, redesigning a product, or even changing the company's direction. Implementing solutions, finding a solution is only half the battle. You then need to put that solution into action and monitor its effectiveness. How to learn. Case studies, these are real-world examples of business problems. By studying them, you can practice identifying issues and coming up with solutions. Brainstorming sessions, gather a group and throw around ideas. This helps in thinking outside the box. Feedback and review. After implementing a solution, get feedback. Did it work? Why or why not? This helps in refining your problem-solving skills. 5. Adaptability and Continuous Learning What it means The business world is like a river, always flowing and changing. To be a successful consultant, you need to be like a skilled sailor, adjusting your sails to the changing winds and currents. Key areas to focus on. Embracing change, this is about being open to new ideas and ways of doing things. If a new technology emerges that can help your client, you should be ready to learn and implement it. Staying updated, the business world evolves rapidly. New trends, technologies, and strategies emerge regularly. It's essential to keep an eye on these changes. Continuous learning, this isn't just about formal education. It's about always looking for opportunities to grow and improve, whether through courses, workshops, or self-study. How to learn. Training opportunities, many firms offer training sessions for their employees. These can be a great way to learn new skills or tools. Industry publications, magazines, journals, and online articles can provide insights into the latest trends and developments. Networking, talking to other professionals can give you a fresh perspective and inform you about changes you might not be aware of. 6. Industry-Specific Skills What it means While general consulting skills are essential, Diving deep into a specific industry's nuances can set you apart. It's like being a chef who specializes in Italian cuisine instead of just being a general cook. Key Areas to Focus on Understanding organizational structures, different industries have different ways of organizing their teams and processes. For instance, a tech startup might have a more flexible structure compared to a century-old bank. Grasping leadership styles, the way leaders guide their teams can vary based on the industry. A film director's leadership style might be different from a hospital's chief surgeon. Specialized knowledge, depending on the industry, there might be specific tools, technologies, or methodologies that are prevalent. For instance, a financial consultant should be well-versed in investment strategies and risk management. How to Learn Industry courses, there are specialized courses tailored for specific industries. For example, if you're diving into healthcare consulting, a course on healthcare management can be beneficial. Mentorship, finding a mentor in the specific industry you're interested in can provide invaluable insights and guidance. Hands-on experience, nothing beats real-world experience. Working on projects within a specific industry can give you a deep understanding of its intricacies. 7. Additional Tips for Training Your Consulting Brain What it means Beyond the foundational skills, there are some secret sauces that can elevate your consulting game. These are the tips that often come from experience and aren't always taught in classrooms. Key Areas to Focus on 
Practicing case studies, think of these as business puzzles. They present you with a scenario, and you have to figure out the best solution. It's a great way to simulate real-world consulting challenges. Networking with other consultants, it's like joining a club of like-minded individuals. By connecting with peers, you can share experiences, learn from each other, and even find collaboration opportunities. Joining professional organizations, these are groups dedicated to promoting and supporting a particular profession. Being a member can give you access to resources, training, and a network of professionals. Staying informed with books and articles, the world of consulting is vast, and there's always something new to learn. Books and articles can provide deeper insights into specific topics or trends. How to Learn Online platforms, websites like caseinterview.com offer a plethora of case studies to practice with. Local networking events, these can be seminars, workshops, or casual meetups where consultants gather. Membership in organizations, groups like the Management Consultancies Association, MCA, offer memberships that come with various benefits. Consulting publications, there are many books written by seasoned consultants that provide valuable insights. Additionally, journals and magazines dedicated to consulting can keep you updated. 8. Invaluable Tips No One Typically Teaches What It Means These are the unwritten rules or the street smarts of consulting. They come from experience and are often passed down from seasoned consultants to newcomers. Key Areas to Focus On Being Curious, the best consultants are like curious children, always asking questions and eager to learn. This helps in understanding clients' businesses deeply and finding innovative solutions. Being a good listener, it's not just about talking, it's about truly hearing what clients and colleagues are saying. This ensures you understand the problem fully before jumping to solutions. Managing expectations, it's crucial to set clear boundaries about what you can and cannot do. Overpromising and underdelivering can harm your reputation. Working under pressure, consulting can be demanding. Being able to stay calm and focused, especially when things get tough, is a valuable trait. How to learn Feedback, regularly seek feedback from peers, mentors, and clients. This helps in understanding areas of improvement. Self-awareness, reflect on your interactions and projects. Understand what went well and what didn't. This self-reflection can be a powerful tool for growth. Mentorship, having a mentor in the consulting field can provide guidance, share their experiences, and offer invaluable tips. Summary, training your consulting brain. Understanding business basics. Grasp the foundational concepts of finance, marketing, and operations. Learn through coursework, internships, and on-the-job experiences. Developing strong analytical skills. Be the detective of the business world, collecting data, identifying trends, and making informed decisions. Enhance skills through statistics and data analysis courses. Becoming a good communicator. Bridge ideas and actions through clear communication. Focus on writing, presenting, and building relationships. Learn through public speaking courses and writing workshops. Critical thinking and problem solving. Dive deep to identify root causes and develop creative solutions. Practice through case studies and gather feedback for continuous improvement. Adaptability and continuous learning. Be the sailor adjusting to the changing business winds. Embrace change, stay updated, and commit to continuous learning through training opportunities and industry publications. Industry-specific skills. Specialize in the nuances of specific industries. Understand organizational structures, leadership styles, and gain specialized knowledge through industry courses and mentorship. Additional tips for training your consulting brain. Practice case studies, network with peers, join professional organizations, and stay informed through books and articles. Invaluable tips no one typically teaches. 
Cultivate curiosity, be a good listener, manage expectations, and handle pressure. Seek feedback, practice self-awareness, and benefit from mentorship.